Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some plays for you today out of the Seattle Seahawks playbook. Now, this personally is probably one of the more overpowered formations in the game. I don't think that people use this quite as much as they should. And I think a big part of that is because the Seahawks playbook probably isn't as uh, popular as some other playbooks. You can find formations that look exactly like this. Uh, typically, they're called a twin TE. I was going to make this video out of the Raiders playbook because that's a playbook that I use more often in my game plays. Uh, but this one one is just a little bit better as far as the diversity of plays at least as far as run plays go now the Raiders probably has a little bit of a better passing selection but ultimately I'm focusing on the run plays today so today I'm doing the Seahawks if you want to see Raiders do me, let me know in the comment section or hit the like button uh, as far as the run plays go in the Seahawks I'm going to set them all up in my audibles there's really four plays you can't find all four of these plays in any other uh, single playbook which is like I said that's why I'm choosing the Seahawks the stretch is going to be one of the ones that I do the the halfback counter week is going to be one of the ones that I do the halfback power O is going to be one of the ones that I put in and then last but not least I would say would be the halfback toss so you can attack these these plays can really attack just about anywhere on the field and it's an excellent setup so it's going to let's pick all four of those I'll finish off with the halfback ISO even though I'm probably going to be audibly out of that quite a bit and then on defense I'm just going to pick random 3-4 now the stretch play, there's not a lot of difference between this particular stretch play and just about every other stretch play in the game. If you watch when I play um, my game plays, I typically run the stretch play to the short side. I find that that's more effective. Most people are going to be expecting it to go to the strong side. So to me, you definitely put the user in a bad spot. As they'll typically start off in that direction, and then you'll typically be able to sneak out the backside and uh, make a pretty respectable run. Um, but like I said, there's nothing really different about the stretch plays. Although there are a couple of different adjustments that you can make on this particular play, and I'll show that as the video goes along. Um, but, I mean, the stretch play is still one of the best run plays in the game. I typically, you know, I can motion out the opposite direction of the tight end. A lot of times that's that'll add um, to uh, making your opponent uh, chase in that direction. So a good fake motion with the tight end is a really good way to go. Um, I'll do that with the toss plays as well. But the point of this video, one of the better plays in this that a lot of people don't really use is the halfback counter weak. Now, you need a slight gap uh, when it comes to running this play um, in the direction that you're running it you will see those gaps more often in uh, four three formation variations than you will in three fours uh, but mostly people run three fours so i wanted to make sure the video was focused on that uh, but like i said i mean even with the toss play running it short side is a good way to go a lot of times um, you can motion the, the fullback out in the direction because if you don't motion the fullback out a lot of times he'll get caught up um, especially with the stretch plays he'll get caught up on the left tackle um, but it's, it's really a good idea definitely to motion the fullback out it'll give you a little bit more of an advantage you can see right here we didn't have a huge hole there but i'm still going with the halfback counter it's still one of the better plays uh in this formation and uh the halfback power is also really good too i'll get to that in a minute as well but anytime you have a really tight stack box like this i would definitely recommend the toss uh the stretch play is going to be good but uh, since the idea is just sprinting out anyway getting away from all that uh lack of separation when it comes to the, the tight pack boxes the toss play is going to be a really good variation to run so right here once again when we have another you know he's coming down in the box so I'm going to take this run play the other way. Nine times out of ten in my game plays, I'm running short side. I just think that it's a better way to go. You can see right here, I mean, we have a huge lane. I don't necessarily have the fastest uh, running back here or even the most talented running back, but you can see um, there's just huge gaps. Anybody can run through those gaps. So once again, we have a very stacked box. I have the choice. I can either run the stretch. Um, to me, the stretch play is more of an inside run than people uh, would imagine. Like right there, you could see, I mean, if I would have tried to continue to take it outside, I probably would have just wasted time. Uh, I motioned the full back over once again uh, and then it becomes kind of an inside like a power run uh, which you know typically stretch plays you're either sprinting outside or there's going to be a gap like it's more like a halfback power so right here once again motion this guy out letting the uh the out letting the the edge defender kick himself out of the play and then just taking it up inside that's probably one of the better ways to run this play you have to always be looking for that secondary hole so here we go once again i mean this is this is a look i could pretty much go anywhere i want to go like i said i'm motioning the fullback quite a bit um as far as you know in certain formations there's a lot of really good pass plays where motioning the fullback can hide that but when it comes to the seahawks that's not really the case so you're kind of giving away where you're going but at the same time it's just making the blocking better so you have to sometimes bite the bullet and take that hit 
there's not a ton of subtlety in a, in a power formation like this anyway. Uh, but you can see, I mean, this play, I'm attacking all aspects of the field, left, right, center. It's really going to be hard for your opponent, even with the motions, to pick up on what you're doing. The last motion you can make uh, to me is motioning the tight end. Now, I already did a fake motion with the tight end earlier in the video. But if you're going to run the toss play, especially against like a cover two like this, uh, motioning out the tight end is going to have a couple of uh, different benefactors right there. You can see he just seals the edge, makes it a little bit easier for me to get outside. Um, if you're running against a cover three or a cover four, a lot of times motioning out that tight end, uh, like right here, it looks like we have a cover three. A lot of times motioning out that tight end will actually force uh, the cornerback back and away, which is going to give you even more space. And I use it as a fake there, but you can see how it actually pushed the cornerback off the line and would have gave me even more space to run to the edge. So there's a couple different benefits you can do there. So whether you're motioning out the tight end as a fake, whether you're motioning them out to try to gain an advantage, um, all these things can be very helpful uh, to making this play that much more uh, explosive and consistent so i'm gonna go to my end of vid there nothing really too much more to go over if you want to see the raiders like i said let me know in the comment section hit the like button and i'll do the raiders the raiders definitely has more pass plays uh more explosive pass play options uh than, than the seahawks do and if you want to see more seahawks uh let me know in the comment section as well and that's it other than that thanks for watching that my shit out Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.